Bonnie is the executive assistant to the chief of professional staff and the VP medical affairs and works in the whole medical affairs area. Uh, I think Bonnie is a huge support to the physicians in the hospital. What she does is work with the physicians. Uh, she supports the various physician committees, whether it's the uh, medical advisory committee, the credentials committee, um, medical quality and utilization committee, does the minutes of all the various department meetings for the physicians, works on credentialing, supports the students. I think Bonnie's sort of a jack of all trades. She does uh, supports the physicians and however they need in uh, their work within the hospital. She's a very dedicated employee. She works a lot, a lot of hours. She's very efficient at her job and she's wonderful at multitasking. Always has a smile on her face. She's very professional with everything she does and the way she communicates to you, is, it, everything's just very professional. She's also uh, an invaluable help uh, as medical uh, as director of the Medical Quality and Utilization Committee. She uh, takes the minutes, which is an unbelievable help. Uh, they are always accurate, useful, uh, and pertinent, which is uh, uh, an essential role that we need in that committee. In all the time that I've known Bonnie, I have never heard her say one negative thing about somebody. She has maintained an unfailing attitude of respect for other people's care and respect for their knowledge and respect for their uh, abilities. Uh, despite sometimes having some negative relationships, uh, I have been inspired to try and behave in the same way. The job that Bonnie does is also a very demanding job because when you're dealing with the professional staff, they aren't necessarily here during the eight to four hours. We have to try and catch them before the workday, at the end of the workday, so Bonnie's always available to support all of that. Um, and sometimes you get emails from Bonnie on Saturday or Sunday because she's in there doing what needs to be done to make sure the work is done for everyone. And this is just another little touch that she has which makes everything so welcoming. She always has jelly beans or candy sitting at her door so people are always welcome and they come to get the candy and enjoy chatting with Bonnie. Dr. Haddad is our uh, medical director for the ICU. Uh, he's also one of our intensivists that works during the weeks in the ICU looking after patients. Dr. Haddad leads the ICU rounds every morning and that includes the multidisciplinary team and that way everyone collaborates to develop the plan of care for the day. So he's sharing all his knowledge to, to, to the whole team which is great and um, I learned so many things. It's great to have him telling us, good morning team, how are you? Let's see what we can do better for our patients. He did a wonderful job of uniting the surgeons in the department and I must say during his period as the interim chief of the surgery department, he solved all the problems and he brought smile and happiness in the department. Uh, Dr. Haddad is um very dedicated um, and respects everybody's input in running the ICU, which is um, very helpful. Um, he supports the staff by providing lots of education um, on a daily basis while we round, or even um, dedicated sessions for education for staff. He's very compassionate to his patients and his colleagues. In fact, I, I must say he's a born leader because the good quality, what is necessary to leader is he should be compassionate, he has got the ability to communicate. He's got the ability to listen to other people and he brought a great relation among the remaining staff in this hospital. Being able to provide this level of care um, with Dr. Haddad leading the ICU is, enables us to keep our patients in our community whereas before we would have to send them off to London Health Sciences. Now we get to keep our patients in our community which is better for families and better for patients. It's a real proud and honor to, to work with him and with the whole team he put together, which is awesome. Jean is a volunteer with the Spiritual Care Department. Uh, her title actually is Supportive Care Volunteer. Um, her main role is to visit patients. And uh, I provide her with a list of patients that she sees every week she comes in. I give her the list and she goes to the floor and visits the patients. Jean Paisley has been volunteering for 55 years. I met Jean when I first started working at the Mitten site and I was struck by her concern for our patients and how much she gives uh, to, to the hospital. Jean has a beautiful spirit and it's in her presence with people that that attitude of compassion comes forth. She's a very humble, very um, 
gentle, kind, soft-spoken person. Just the kind of person that you want coming into your hospital room when you're feeling upset because she has a, a really unique way of calming people down and making you feel totally at ease when she meets with you, speaks with you. So tender, so gentle, so kind of lay back, really allow patients to be who they are and comfortable to be with her. She's also very, very respectful. Um, as you know, in a hospital environment, patients can come from quite a variety of backgrounds. Some are Christian, some are from groups other than Christians. And Jean is very respectful. She's able to connect with people regardless of their faith traditions. And uh, whether there's faith or no faith or other faiths. Well, she never looks for accolades. Always kind of surprised when she does receive accolades, but that's why she does receive it, because she works so hard and so tirelessly, tirelessly for the patients. Jean Paisley received the letter from the Prime Minister for her many years of compassion and service. This letter speaks to her concern for our patients and their well-being. Um, she takes a lot of pride in being part of Blue Water Health. I really believe it's very deserving. Jody is the practice lead for recreation therapy um, in the rehab therapies department. She has been in that role for over 10 years. And basically she helps inpatients find meaning and value through, through recreation. She has a lot of compassion for the patients that she's working for. Um, in many instances she'll go kind of above and beyond. I know of instances where she's gone out on her own time to help patients. She works closely with families so that they can feel supported as well in, in supporting their loved one. And when she's not uh, on the rehab inpatient, you can find her on the pool, in the pool. And she does a lot of work in the pool with our stroke patients. I think she encompasses everything that we have in our standards of performance excellence. Um, and she encompasses that every day and she does it without um, prejudice. She does not let her outside world come into this organization. She always is professional and always is a step ahead of everybody else to make the patient experience wonderful here at Blue Water Health. Just looking at um, some of her responsibilities, like her, her, moral, her moral compass is always pointing north. Like no matter what we're doing, if it's talking about policy development or changing some means of doing something on, on, on a unit, Jody always brings us back to remembering what it's like for the patient. That patient-centered care is always foremost in her mind, and as much as many of us might think we've got that in our, our mind as well, she really brings it to the forefront and is always pushing us to do the right thing, as she always does for herself, and she um, sees projects to completion and beyond and is just going you know, that extra mile all the time to make it a quality care experience for patients and staff alike. Debbie's an administrative assistant at CEH of Blue Water Health. Um, her role encompasses a million different roles. She assists with the administrator here, with the foundation, with the board, with the auxiliary, all the staff in the hospital, and Debbie's our go-to person. Debbie embodies all of those aspects of the acronym CARE. For compassion, she is probably one of the most kind and considerate people that I think I've ever known, and I've worked with Debbie for 13 years. For accountability, she's just accountable for everything she does. She's very conscientious in her work. She has, she had perfect attendance last year. No sick time. As far as respect, Debbie really respects everyone. She is one of the people that goes out of her way to support people. And for excellence, that just describes all that she does. And uh, she's very involved in Blue Water Health Committees, improving work life here at the hospital. Uh, she was very supportive for the CE 100th anniversary and she's just very supportive of anyone that she interacts with. She just goes out of her way to help. She shows a great deal of professionalism. She's diplomatic. She never gets her feathers ruffled. She's kind of like the hub of this wheel. She can look after everything. Or, and if she can't, she will direct you to the right source. In my role in admitting, I often have to speak with her about uh, if someone's making a donation for the foundation, 
If a patient has a complaint, she handles those very professionally. If I need anything um, policy-wise or if we're having an issue in the building and I need to talk to Connie Courtney, we would go through Debbie. She cares for everyone. It doesn't matter if you're a volunteer, if you're a patient, you're a family member, which she has a lot of dealings with. She knows all the staff in this building and makes a point to know everyone that's here. She just knows what is going on in this facility all the time.